Animal Crossing New Horizons has been out for over a month now. Players have created some stunning looking towns and done some crazy things, but some players have begun to notice some things that are a bit off. Things that seem out of place. Things that shouldn't be there. Let me tell you about Animal Crossing New Horizons Haunted Items. Animal Crossing New Horizons, a game that sold over 5 million digital copies in March alone and helped the Switch sell more units than it did at launch. This game is no joke, it's immensely popular. Recently we got one of the very first big updates where we got Lee's Garden Shop along with Bushes. We also got someone interesting, someone from the previous games, someone that Tom Nook doesn't like, that someone is Red the Fox. Red the Fox is also known as Crazy Red or Jolly Red. All we really know about him is that he runs a mysterious shop on a boat where he sells paintings and statues that are either authentic or counterfeit. How do you know which one is real or fake? Well, you'll notice subtle differences in them. In Animal Crossing New Leaf, this was all you needed to do just spot the difference, but in Animal Crossing New Horizons, the fake paintings aren't just different, they're haunted. As of the time of making this video, I've only found four paintings that are haunted, or have something strange attached to them. The first one is called Beauty Looking Back, known as graceful painting in the game. If you end up with the fake on the back of it, is a sinister shadowy figure, which does not resemble anything else in the game. The second one is called Girl with a Pearl Earring, known as Wistful Painting in the game. This painting is one of the more haunted ones. If you end up with a fake, it will open its eyes and close them at random. The third one is a portrait. In the game, it's called Scary Painting. This painting, like the previous one, is one of the more haunted ones. If you stare at it long enough, it will smile at you. The fourth one is a lot like the first. It has something strange on the back. The painting is called the Academic Painting. Taped on the back of it is a red key. I asked on the Animal Crossing Reddit if there are any locks or key slots in the game, but the replies I got said there weren't. But when I went to Red Ship, I saw a door with a lock on it. The key most likely goes to that door. But what's behind it? Who knows, that may have to be another gaming mystery I have to cover. Now Red the Fox also sells statues. Like the paintings, they are also haunted. For example, the Rosetta Stone, known as the informative statue in the game, will glow at night. A more haunted statue would be the Dogu clay figurine, known as the ancient statue in the game. If you interact with the statue, it will begin to float. Some players say this animation is a nod to the history of these figurines, which are funeral offerings thought to host the souls of the departed. These paintings are most likely here so the fakes have some value. They don't have much monetary value, but it's pretty cool to have haunted items. 
so it makes the player feel less cheated, which is cool. I'm definitely going to have a room that holds all these haunted artifacts. Who knows, I might just find a really, really special painting. Well, here's my seventh million time recording this outro because I can't talk and my dog keeps making noise. Here we go. I hope you guys like this week's. I hope you guys like this week's video. I know it was another Animal Crossing one, but I saw this stuff on Twitter, so I just had to cover it. In case if you haven't seen last week's video, um, it's about my trip to New York. I give you a little tour of the Nintendo New York store, and there's also some cool CGI effects I did in that video. So go check it out. It's pretty cool. And lastly, I just wanted to say thank you for 900 subscribers. That's insane. We grew 50-ish, like over 50 subscribers in like under a month. That's insane. So hopefully we can do that again so we can hit the big old 1K. Because trust me, it would be pretty sick to see four numbers on the front of the channel but i'm still really happy for 900 i appreciate it we hit it when i was live streaming and that was really cool thank you to all the new people and thank you to everybody who's been here for a while too here here we go to 1k my dog keeps making noise so i'm going to end this outro i hope you guys like this video my name is mark and this has been gaming mysteries